Oh my god. <laughs> it works. It actually works. Hive OS, I can see my memory temperatures. Boys, it works. Guys, I've been mining for a little over a year now, and I have to say there's two things I've been wanting so badly. And that's the LHR full unlock and memory temperatures that show on Hive OS. And there is actually a way, and it works. I've confirmed it. Now, please, just a disclaimer, use at your own risk. I'm not responsible if this doesn't work out for you. I'm sorry if it doesn't work out for you. But it's worked out for me, and I'm going to show you how we did it. Firstly, I want to give a shout out to Red Llama Crypto for posting this video just like a couple minutes ago. He's actually not the one who discovered it, but he's the reason that I found it. So I put a link for him in the description below. Please subscribe to Red Llama Crypto. But this is the guy, to my knowledge, who discovered it. I don't know if he figured it out on his own or what, but let me just show you his explanation of how this is working. His name is Dandy Works. He has 77 subscribers. Guys, come on, let's give a thumbs up and let's just subscribe to this guy, man. Show some support. Shout out to you, Dandy Works. Hey, hey, it's DJ, and today I'd like to show you how to get real GPU memory temperatures completely within Hive OS. So a quick rundown of what we're actually doing here. We are simply taking the CLI tool, which is a tool within MMPOS, which actually reads the data from the NVIDIA sensors on your GDDR6X GPUs, and we're putting it directly inside of Hive OS and running it there. So there's no suspicious downloads or anything. We are using a tool built into MMPOS and putting it straight into Hive OS. All right, guys, so now that we have that out of the way, if you scroll down here in his description, I will also put this link in my description. He has a link where you can click on it right here. And then it's going to open up to the most current um, tools right here. It's going to be these four commands, again, in my description as well. Now, one thing to keep in mind, he actually ended up having to change this line here, this echo line. I'm not really sure 100% why he kind of mentions it down here in the comment section below. I believe he's changed it once or twice. It says there was some kind of issue with the ID and rig code, so he had to recreate it. So I'll put in the newer one that's currently working at this moment. He also has a link for how you can create this on your own so you don't have to be dependent on him. This website site i decided not to create my own i'm just going to use his it's app.mmpos.eu use that at your own risk again i'm just using his because then it just uses your own hive os i don't feel like downloading anything it's a little bit too risky for me on that part right here you can see my rtx a4000 and the memory temperature is 84 degrees celsius or 3080 up here 102 degrees celsius 104 on this 3080 etc cetera, etc cetera. so how do we actually do this all right, so the steps to actually do this are quite easy. Open up the standard shell. We're up here at the top of HiveOS. It says remote access. Go ahead and hit that. Now that that is loaded, let's go ahead and click this little Hive shell box. It'll open up. Now, if you don't know, if you're new to mining or something, this is just going to your own rig. Don't worry here. You open up a box just like this, and it'll end in your rig with the pound sign. Next, there's going to be four lines. I need you to carefully listen to what I'm doing here because things will change on the second line. We're going to go ahead and copy this. We're going to paste that in. Oh, no, you won't be able to control V, so right click, paste from browser. And then we're going to paste that. We're going to hit enter. It's going to do its thing for a little bit. And at the bottom right here, if you can see my mouse, the bottom left, it'll say your rig pound again. Great. Now, this second line here, this actually changed from his video, which again, I'll link in the description below. We're going to copy it. It was working just a second ago. That could change in the future, and it might become where you have to do this on your own eventually. Right click. Let's paste that link, and it should end with config.json. Hit enter, and it's going to look like nothing happened, but it's okay. Now, we're going to go into the third link here, chmod, and then it ends in tool. Right click, paste. Let's paste that bad boy in hit enter one more time same thing rig pound and uh then we're just gonna go ahead and take this fourth line here copy that paste from browser paste one more time after right clicking ending in tool once again and we're gonna hit enter now it's gonna do its thing just give it a second depending on your rig it could go quicker it could go slower it's detecting the gpus in the top left here I do have 12 GPUs, so hopefully we can get all 12 to work once again. And there it is. Oh my goodness, guys. Hive OS memory temperatures. There it is. This is what we have all been waiting for. So let's look at some of these, huh? The 3080, a memory of 104, still good there. The second line, another 3080. You know what I really want to know about? These RTX A4000s. This memory, I cleaned this yesterday, got down to 84 degrees Celsius. The core was 66. So I thought at 66, it'd be like 90, but no, it's running pretty well. 
another A4000 at 68 degrees Celsius on the core, only running at 88 degrees on the memory. Really nice to see. Our final A4000 at 66 degrees on the core and 84 degrees on the memory. If we look at our 3070 Ti, I actually think this is fairly accurate because it says 69 degrees on the core and I've noticed it's been thermal throttling or on the border at 106. It just said 108 degrees on the memory. So yeah, I do think this is pretty decent and it's got to be within a fair range. I would estimate of like 5% accuracy here. 3080, 104 degrees. Yeah, really making a lot of sense. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Again, shout out to Dan. Andy Works and Red Llama Crypto. Let's get these guys some subs, man. Link for them in the description below. Please let me know if this works out for you. And again, if it does not work out for you, it's more than likely because the rig name changed by the time you're watching this video. Check out that guy's video, or you can create on your own at your own risk, which I, again, I haven't personally created my own account. That's where I don't really feel that super comfortable with. But if you ever want to get back into it, Red Llama did show me a quick little tip but yeah, this fourth line here, you would just retype if you closed it or something and you should in theory be able to see it again. So yeah, if you're having any issues, either run the whole thing all over again, all four steps, or just type in this just to see access all over again. If you found this video to be useful or helpful in any way, please consider subscribing and leaving a thumbs up. It really does help with the algorithm. I also have a very active Discord that I would love you to join. Check us out on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. DJ Minds, signing out.